everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put together this shaker card using some awesome stamps from the Sweet Stamp Shops. Sweet Stamp Shop, not shops, but Sweet Stamp Shop. I got this stamp set from Liz Ho over at The Hug Life and I could not wait to use these and I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them whenever I got that stamp set. Lots of fun to create a really awesome shaker card and let's face it, who doesn't love to open the mail and receive a shaker card because even through the envelope you know it's a shaker card. So let's go ahead and start putting this one together. You will notice a couple of times though it tries to fight me. This card seems like it did not want to be created and I was having some difficulty with it. So pardon the interruptions and rather finicky supplies, but let's go ahead and check out how I put it together. Today I'm going to be using this awesome stamp set from Sweet Stamp Shop that is called Hot Glue, of course, because it's little, got little hot glues in it and it's just super cute. Love this saying a lot and uh, yeah, it's just greatness. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I've taken my favorite stitched rectangle die and that's going to be this one right here. I've gone ahead and uh, used some post-it note tape to stick these two together so that way they are nice and stuck um, and I can just put, pick them up and put them back down again and I don't have to align them again and it's a good way to just keep them together. You can also do that with washi tape. So next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my cuddle bug here and I'm going to use this awesome paper. I believe this is, yes, it is close to my heart paper. Uh, no, it's lawn fawn paper. My bad. It is lawn fawn paper. And I'm going to, I don't even know, bell bottoms. It's the type, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to stick this right onto my cuddle bug here. And I'm gonna go ahead and send this through my cuddle bug. So we have this nice little stitched rectangle now that I can use on another project. But what I really want from this project is, if I can get it undone. Oh, it didn't cut all the way through, what the hell? All right, so it didn't, Unfortunately, the die didn't cut all the way through. All right, since it didn't cut all the way through, I'm gonna have to take my X-Acto knife and just give it a little help to cut the rest of this rectangle out. See guys, doesn't always work the way you want it to. All right, there we go. All right, now we got it out and, oh, I just broke my X-Acto knife. <laughs> This is not turning out so good. Okay, finally got my frame. It's ready to go. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Next thing I'm gonna be cutting is this piece of fun foam. It is going to be what helps to give a little bit of room for our shaker bits to shake around in. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of this fun foam out and send it through the cuddle bug. All right, so I'm gonna put this through. Now it's gonna squish down my fun foam a lot, but that's okay because give it a little bit of time, it'll pop back up exactly as it was before. So now that I got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and break apart my dies so that way I can get the last piece, which is the acetate piece. I don't want the smaller one to cut away at the window, so I'm just gonna cut a larger one. The larger piece of acetate will be hidden by the frame. So fun fact, you can't actually make it through the acetate with your stitched rectangle die. So that's good to know for future reference. So something tells me this project is gonna fight me a little bit. So since that piece didn't want to die cut nicely, I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and run the X-Acto knife over it. All right, so got the acetate cut out and my X-Acto knife keeps trying to fall apart. All right, so now I have my three different pieces. Basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to put this down like so, right on top of our foam piece and then this little 
Um, border piece will help hide everything so that it doesn't look ugly and disgusting. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my little frame piece, since that's gonna be the bottom. Now I'm gonna take some of the Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it around the frame. I'm gonna add just little bits of um, glue because I don't want a whole lot. I especially don't want it to come out on either side of the frame. So I'm just gonna add little bits of it. So that way hopefully it won't splooge out on either side. So now we're gonna set this off to the side so it can dry. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my back panel all ready to go. I want to stamp um, the Caution Crafter Packing Heat. I wanna go ahead and stamp that in the center of the back. I'm gonna use my VersaFine to go ahead and ink up the sentiment, and then I'll stamp it onto my panel. Now I'm gonna use some of these uh, sequin stamps. I really love how different sizes and they have the outlines and then the insides, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with, I don't know what I wanna do first. I don't think I want this many colors. I think I just want a few colors. I think I'm gonna make it pomegranate, Indian blue, and pear. Yeah, that looks like a good combination of colors. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these up and then stamp these out. Now I'm gonna use some embossing silver embossing powder from Ranger. This is a super fine detail. I'm gonna take the outline stamps of the little sequins and I'm going to be using my Versamark to go ahead and do the outlines of the facets. Is that what it's called for the sequins? The little liney part. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and line them up and do that. Now I'm going to take my paintbrush and get rid of any of the loose powder that fell in places that I don't really want it. All right, I'm getting frustrated with this project because it's not working out the way I want it. And as you can see, there are some really bad mistakes. Well, not bad mistakes, but I'm just getting frustrated. So I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to finish this. All right, so it is a brand new day. I have sat and let this kind of mull over in my mind. I still don't like it. It These sequins just didn't quite work out the way I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and start again with this stamp set. It's no not a big deal, just sometimes it's better to start over and try again. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-ink up the sentiment for this card. I'm gonna grab my VersaFine ink and we'll go ahead and get started on creating this stamp. We're going ahead and creating the inside of our shaker again. All right, I like the look of this way better, but of course I mess up on one of them and I could have tried to re-stamp it, but that always ends up messing me up even more. So I'm just gonna take my Copic liner, multi, the Copic multi liner, that's the name of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix this up just a little bit. There we go, so much better and no one's gonna be the wiser. All right, so I've got all the stamping done that I wanted to do on this. Uh, I went ahead and fast forwarded through the stamping of the sequins because I knew my head was gonna get in the way way too much. So I skipped all of that and I'm just gonna go ahead now and continue on. I'm gonna dry everything very quickly with my heat tool to make sure it's all nice and dry before I move on to the next step. Alrighty, that should be all nice and good to go. I am going to add some Wink of Stella. I want my sequins to be nice and shiny, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Wink of Stella pen, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. I haven't used this one in a while, so I need to get it restarted again before I actually start using it. 
I'm gonna gently squeeze to try and get a little more of that shimmer coming out. All right, so now that I have that going, I'm gonna go ahead and use it on the sequins to add a little more shine to them. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see any of that glittery goodness, but it is now all nice and glittery. So next up we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay the front part of our shaker window down. It's gonna end up going just like that, and I think, oh, that's gonna look really, really nice. Can't wait for that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that down right there. I have some sequins here. These are from Walmart, of all places. Uh, these are Horizon Group USA sequins. Uh, can you get a more generic name? Anyways, all right, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle these into the shaker window. All right, I have all my sequins in there. Now, all I have to do is Add the back on just like that. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to use my multi media mat. And I just recently got the really nice uh, fine applicator needle tool thing. So I'm going to go, let me make sure I got the sequins in there. Yes. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and close it up, squeezing some, maybe, maybe if my multi medium has enough in to help me. There we go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So now that I have my shaker all done, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Versafine again. I'm gonna stamp this little craft uh, glue gun onto some white paper. I'm gonna grab two of my Copic markers. This is BG11 and BG13. You might notice that I reach for these colors a lot. That is because they're the ones that I have the most consecutive colors of, I guess? Basically, I went to a workshop on Copics and received three Copics that are in the same family together. So I tend to use those the most because they're the easiest to blend for me. I don't really have any other blending colors per se. So I'm gonna go ahead and just color this in using the BG11 and BG13. I'm also gonna use a, I think this is a Shanhan Art marker. This is from Close to My Heart. Uh, this one is WG7. I'm just gonna add a small little bit of it right up here to the tip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut out my little hot glue gun. All right, there are people all across YouTube land who are much better at fussy cutting than I am, obviously, but it gets the job done for what I need, so that's fine by me. I'm gonna go ahead and use some glossy accents because my multimedia mat is run out at this point. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glossy accents onto the back. Glossy accents actually works as a great adhesive. It is super strong and works really, really well. And especially since I have the fine uh, tip applicator, really helps get all of that gluey goodness into the places that I need. I'm gonna go ahead and score this card at four and a quarter by five and a half. Well, that's how big I want the front panel to be. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and score it here at five and a half. I'm gonna take some of my Tombow Extreme Adhesive and add this to the front panel of my card because it's gonna fit on just like that. There we go, guys. It is done after fighting me and not working the way I wanted it to finally have a card that I love. So even though I had some trouble putting this card together, I think it came out great and I really can't wait for the recipient to get it. I think I know who I'm gonna be sending this one to and I really hope that they enjoy the card as much as I enjoy putting it well. Besides having to come back to it another day, I really did enjoy putting this card together. Don't forget guys, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you liked my video and then we'll share it across YouTube land. Also, don't forget you can check me out on social media. You can check me out over on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere, Periscope. I keep forgetting Periscope. Make sure to go check those out. And if you liked today's video, you can also subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and get great updates every time I post a new video. Otherwise guys, I will see you next time. And remember, keep it off kilter. Bye. And I'm gonna, I've already, um, 
What do I want to say? <laughs> I want. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Now we're gonna take some Tombo Multi Mono Money Mooney Mono. <laughs> now I'm gonna take some. Oh my gosh.